Saturday Morning Racer YouTube channel was the final round for London, Kentucky. And the repeat winner first this year in AGAS is Leslie Horn. Leslie, you're the only one so far to repeat in AGAS by turning on the last wind light. Doing so here at Mooresville for London. I didn't even think about that, Lee, but yeah, that is. It's been all year. We've had different we've had different winners all year. So yeah, that, that would be the first one. It's also a big first for me here too for driving this C gas, I mean this B gas car too. So it's been a lot. The heat's been rough on me, but I think we're pulling through. We end up qualifying six in the little Leroy here. And we've number one qualifier in A gas for the other one. Oh uh Old Chick Man is running good. It was last night I almost went home and changed it, put my backup engine in it. It felt like it was making a little noise, but I either put the noise out. I thought this morning I got what I got, and that's what I got, and that's what I'm going to run, and it's been showing out. That's Leslie Horn. I'm Lee Kraft. Welcome to the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel, Mooresville Dragway. Round one of eliminations for Mooresville, Agas next. <laughs> Some helpful force of uh, race engines right there. This is the quick time performance on. 
Martin Willis right there with the build power underneath the hood for him, 451 cubic inches. Maybe a little problem, maybe getting it in reverse. It's no joke that the Joker picked up that round win here at Mooresville. Leah Steltz, backup girl, official for Greg Steltz. Greg, we know you're chasing that world record, but a couple of win lights along the way has got to feel good. Yeah, definitely glad we won. Uh, car ain't quite run, running very good. We got kind of lucky on that one. Um, we got to do it a couple more times to see what happens. Uh, we ain't going to be no records today, though. Uh, yes, conditions quite aren't out there, even though Leslie did qualify exceptionally well. The struggles, if you will, of you going for this world record in Gasser territory, where can people follow you along in particular? They can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, and YouTube. At where? Greg's? Greg's Speech Up. Boom. Greg Steltz. He's no joke.
Dean Jonas got the win over Kenneth Phillips and Todd here in the slingshot got the win over Chase Howard. Uh, Todd, that was quite an interesting round win over Chase from the deep stage to him almost almost merging with you. Take us through it. I don't really know what happened. Uh, he had me off the line. I think he might have got loose and crossed the line or something other and uh, unfortunate for him, but hey, it's a win for me. I'll take it. How is the Mooresville drag strip treating you and the old hot rod? Uh, I think the track is is okay. Uh, I'm just having issues with my car. I'm not real sure what's going on with it. It just don't seem like I got some timing or some fuel issues or something or somewhere. It's just not responding like it needs to. But hey, we're making rounds and hopefully we can make one more. Todd is saying slingshot engaged. away on the chick magnet getting it looking good for the final round appearance that he has and it's his second final round appearance for the day he already won the makeup race for the race in Kentucky right here at Mooresville North Carolina and the car is running good number one qualifier not too far off from the record going into a final can stretch a points lead seems like it's going all your way mr. chick magnet it is it's uh, the day's been a really good day for me Lee. we um you know, we almost, I don't know if I told you earlier, we almost took it back home last night and changed the engine. I felt like the engine was making a little noise, but I've been driving this other car over here too, so I don't know if it just sounded different what was in my head, something was wrong with it. But uh, I think I'm out here first round of qualifying and doffed off a pretty good number, and then Bob worked on it a little bit, and Brian worked on it a little bit, and one turned doffed off an even bigger number, and so I thought the whole thing might be okay. So um, it's just been making rounds. Um, I was really stressed with running both cars, but I was able to pull it off for a little while, but I got took out in the second or third round in the other car. And, uh, but it's been, it's been doing really good. I mean, it's, uh, this would be a first for me. I'm in the finals again right here. If I could pull off two, I've never won two at the same night. I mean, I have won two in a row, but I never have won two at the same night. And I wish I could have done a little better in the red car. That would have been really cool to win three. But, uh, but anyway, everything's going good. Work is underway on Todd Blackwell's slingshot as he has got a final round matchup against Leslie Horn. A plug change, he states that that is not routine, but it certainly is necessary going into the final round here at Mooresville Dragway. We certainly hope that Todd has enough sling for the shot against Leslie in the final.
Well, the car has been teched. The chick magnet wins once again. Leslie Horn. Now, you today became the first repeat winner in AGAS. You now have extended that repetition to three wins on the season. Stranglehold on the points lead. Really make yourself to be the clear front runner in the A-Gas category. But I want to ask you as owner, series owner of Southeast Gasers Association, a return to Mooresville Dragway in Race City, USA. Good showing in fans, in cars, in an event today. Oh yeah, it's been it's been a great event, Lee. And you know, people people says that you know I'm the new owner of uh, Sega. I don't know if that's the case or not. I think Sega owns me because <laughs> it runs me to death. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it's been a great great day, um, great weekend. I think I told you earlier. You know, was about to pull the engine last night, put go home and put old Faithful in it, my backup engine, because I felt like this was making a little noise. But like I said, I don't know if it was from driving another car or what. I don't know what it was, but it, it's. It held together. That's the reason why I decided on that by run to kind of just take it easy and cruise down through there. I'd really been mad at myself if I'd have slung a rod outside of it in that one. But it, overall, though, the old 55 chick magnet, Fulton racing engine, ram clutch, G, G Force transmission car, I couldn't ask for it to do no better today. And for Bob working on it, Bob made some adjustments after the first round, picked it up a little bit more. Um, Brian Harris kept working on the shocks and tuning on the chassis all day, and it just kept getting better and better and better. That last run right there wasn't the fastest run, but it was still a good run. That, that would have been a number two, number three qualifier run there. So, and I and I had a pretty good light. I cut a, an 03 or an 04, which was is a pretty good light in these old cars. So, um, I don't know. Some days it just lines up, Lee. It's your day, and I think you've heard me say that before. And the day it was just my day. Um, never last night. I never thought I'd be here like I am. I really didn't, especially trying to drive the big ass car because that was a handful. Um, but here I am. Leslie Horn, two wins here at Mooresville Dragway, one for the makeup race at London, Kentucky, and one for the race that was scheduled here. The next Southeast Gasers Association race back on old Rocky Top in Knoxville, Tennessee.